Hi there, this is Father Greg. It's the Saints Anatomy 2020 Virtual Greek Festival. I'm here with our head chanter and master chef, uh, Nick Kotsianis at Lowell's Restaurant. One of the features of the festival is the lamb shank, and you won't be able to get it this year because we're not having an on-site festival, but you will be able to learn to make it at home. So, Nico, tell us what to do. This is, a, by the way, a two-step process, so there's gonna be a separate video because there's some other steps that happen after you put it in the oven. Go ahead, Nick. Hello, everybody. Uh, this year, it's unfortunate we cannot have the festival, um, but uh, we'll show you how to do it at home. There you go. Um, so what do we have here? Okay, we have some uh, four-quarter uh, lamb shanks, because uh, I couldn't find the, the thicker behind ones. Those are the ones we usually have at the festival. Right. Yeah. Uh, what else? But it's the same idea, because the process is the same. Okay. Uh, the first step is uh, we'll put all seasoning on and then put them in the oven to braise. What do we got here? Uh, we have salt, pepper, oregano, and garlic. There you go. And some people like like to use uh, cinnamon, but okay. that's optional. Uh, that makes it a little Greeker, I would think, because yeah. cinnamon goes oh, on. Oh, I can use it. Uh, actually, myself, I like that. Okay. So, so there's no amounts here. You're just kind of seasoning yeah, it too. Yeah. You like pepper? You put more pepper. If you if you uh, stay away from salt, mm -hmm. okay. Put pepper, and this is garlic, garlic powder. Yeah. Greek uh, oregano or just any kind of oregano? Uh, they all call Greek oregano. Okay. So. I will do both sides. Uh, the salt. I don't know. Did I do salt? Doesn't matter. <laughs> and then I will flip them over because uh, they have to be on both sides. Okay. And I gotta go quick because we don't have much of uh, video well, time. It's also a restaurant, so you gotta keep things moving. Right, yeah. Just like at the chance stand. I do like that, like crazy. Okay. fast I, I might put one ingredient twice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now this goes in the oven. Uh, it's like 350. There we go. Yep. Uh, I see maybe in like 45 minutes. Actually 350 to 375. In a in someone's like kitchen oven, not one of these commercial ones. Ah, uh, that kitchen oven, the commercial oven. Okay, how about At a kitchen home oven? You can do 400. 400. Um, uh, if that is to braise them, turn nice uh, and crispy outside. Okay. And that will give it flavor. Do you turn it in the oven? No, no, okay. you don't have to. So now we now we wait until step two. Yes. Okay. All right. So stay tuned, everyone, for the next video, which will be step two. Hey there, Saint Sonari 2020 Virtual Greek Festival. This is part two of the lamb shank uh, instruction because there are two parts to making it. So Nick, what's uh, where are we at? We just took the lamb shanks out of the oven, and what's next? Okay. This is uh, step two. Uh, the lamb shanks have been uh, roasting for about. 45 minutes, uh, 375 right here at this oven. Uh, what would it be at home? 400? 400. Okay. But uh, for regular cooking, 350 here, 375 at home. Got it. So, uh, I have to make a slurry with the tomato paste. This is tomato paste. I mean, any kind of tomato paste. Um, okay. Break it up real good. That's called a slurry? Uh, that's what I call it. Okay. I don't know. Anything that's like. If you call it that, that's what we'll call it. I don't know. I uh, see the consistency. It has to be like a thin, thin sauce. Okay. Sometimes, uh, like some tomato sauce, the plate doesn't have anything in it. Tomato sauce, like pan. Right. It has a good consistency, like that. A tomato paste, you keep it at home. It does the same thing. So, uh, 
So, uh, this goes over. So you want it nearly covered? Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna add a little water too. Yeah, you, because if, if it's too thick, it'll burn. So I add some water. Uh, almost to the top, but you gotta make sure now. What else goes inside here is some uh, onions. Are these sauteed already? Yeah, sauteed okay. already, but you can you can use raw too. What was the wisdom you were telling me about onions? Oh, the wisdom about onions, you wanna make something good. Use, use a onion. lot of onions. And if you wanna make it more, better, more onions. I agree with that. Because they'll, they'll cook and uh, so I get a spoon of oil. If you don't cover it well, what happens is it'll dry and, and evaporate and it'll stick and you'll have a disappointment. So, what you want to do is make it so tight that when it creates steam, it, uh, the steam is what actually bakes it. Ah. So I'll make sure that it's nice and tight. I mean, the edge is stuck. Okay. And it goes to the oven. How long, what temperature, home oven? Uh, the temperature is uh, 350, what a half hours. So at this point, 350, two and a half hours? Right. Okay, so this is a long process making the lamb shank. Yes, it is. Now imagine, is. You, you don't have to imagine this because you've done it um, hundreds upon hundreds over the festival weekend. It's not short or a cooking. There you go. So. All right. This is it. Any other uh, suggestions um, or uh, tips for us as we try this at home? Probably won't be quite as good as how you make it, but. Uh, yeah, make sure, don't be afraid to use seasoning. Uh, and and uh, onions and and more onions about uh, an <laughs> hour and a half at the two hour mark maybe you want to open it up carefully because the steam will might burn you okay and take a peek and see with a fork how far you think you get. Great. but if you if you cook it uh, more what will happen it will be so tender that it'll come off the bone as they say, crawls right off the bone. You there you go. Yeah. Nick, thanks so much. You're welcome.